you guys some of the 10 best horror movies of all time according to Ranker? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you start. All right. Oh, uh, shoot. What's a scary movie? Um, Poltergeist. Not there. That's a scary one. <laughs> it is, but it's such a weird... The whole table's open. Yeah, I don't know. How about The Shining? That's four. Okay. Come to play, Savage. I'm sorry. <laughs> Halloween. That's five. Nice. <laughs> and you laugh. You were ready to laugh. I mean, thinking that, but that's that's on there. I thought you were just guessing the holiday. I forgot there was a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Last <laughs> Halloween was super scary. <laughs> the trick or treaters were. <laughs> they're dressed up as cats and Fortnite characters. They were <laughs> emoting on my front porch. It was awful. Uh, show me The Exorcist. That's two. Yes. Uh, how about Baba Duke? <laughs> Not there. <laughs> <laughs> What? Uh, Baba Duke. Yeah, yeah. It's a manifestation of grief. Sorry to spoil it. <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street. That's six. Thank you. You're welcome. Pitching a perfect game right now. Uh, what's the new one with the peanut butter, peanuts, or something? I don't know. Uh, uh, it's a family or whatever. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> yeah, you definitely know what I'm talking it about. It sounds scary to you, you little allergic freak. Well, yeah, but that's what everybody always says, is that I shouldn't see that movie because the peanut allergies play a part in the in the movie. You're it's... talking about Charlie Brown Halloween? No, that's the peanuts, and I <laughs> see where you drew that line. Uh, but no, okay. I'm legitimately thinking of a uh, blockbuster horror movie. I know the one you're thinking of. What is it? I think you're thinking of Hereditary. Yeah, Hereditary. Not there. Nah. Show me Scream. Not there. How about Day of the Dead? Not there. Is that something? I don't know. <laughs> um, how about The Omen? Not there. Ah! <laughs> how about The Ring? No. What the? <laughs> We've hit a cold spell. Let me see. Texas Chainsaw Massacre? That's eight. A lot of syllables. Such a cool phrase, though. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre? <laughs> it it really paints a picture. I haven't seen the movie, but... And his name's Leatherface. I was almost going to say that, and then I thought that it would sound insensitive if that wasn't the name of the character. <laughs> My Aunt Trish has a leather face. No, yeah, see, you're not supposed to say, you can't say stuff like that. Well, she spent too much time in Palm Beach. I it's mean, all burnt up like a crisp. She lives in Palm Beach. Boca. How about The Exorcism of Emily Rose? Not there. <laughs> How about, like, The First Insidious? Not there. Yeah. How about one shot right here in Detroit, Michigan? It follows. Not there. <laughs> Quentin Tarantino said that movie was perfect except for one scene. The sex scene? I don't remember which scene he said, but for what it's worth, he's Quentin Tarantino, so. That guy <laughs> loves feet. It probably just wasn't there wasn't enough feet. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Is Psycho on here? That's seven. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's from that? Yeah, the Bates Motel. Oh. He kills his mommy. <laughs> Show me Don't Look Up. Not there. The heck, I mean, that's the scariest movie I've ever seen. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Because the thing is, people don't know, but it's actually about the pandemic. It seems like it's about an asteroid about to hit it, but it's, it's about the pandemic if you really read into it, and that is scary. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. How about birds? <laughs> Not there. Oh, uh, Hitchcock. Yeah, I had to watch that one in school. Ooh, Project X. Not there. I need help here finishing this. And you seem to be kind of goofing and gaffing off. Do you think I'm really goofing off, or do you think I'm just scared of my party getting busted? Is Silence of the Lambs here? That's number one. Nah. It's more of like a detective thriller, but he do be eating people and he rubs himself all up. You yeah, I mean? yeah. Ooh, what about Freddy vs. Jason? Not there. <laughs> Great, one of the best sequels. It's a good cross-universe movie. Yeah. They, like, chop each other's heads off at the end. They should do a horror movie Avengers Yes. It's like Freddy, Jason, the Baba Duke, uh, the twins from The Shining, Leatherface. Yeah. All of them all in one movie. That'd oh be my awesome. gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Is Bill Hader's It here? That is 10. I'm assuming it's the old one, but. Yeah, it's probably not the new one. <laughs> that one sucks. What's the one with the fog? Is it The Village? Not there. Is that a horror movie? I think you're thinking of The Mist. Uh, is that what it is? Mm -hmm. yeah, Stephen King. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. The village is M. Night Shyamalan's. Ah, who cares? Is Midsommar on the list? No. Yeah. How about Funny Games? Not there. 90s movie that they did a shot-for-shot -shot remake of 10 years later. Nice. It's a good movie. How about Cannibal Holocaust? <laughs> Not there. Ah, that's the one where everybody actually died during the filming. Really? There's yeah. a movie like that? 
Oh my gosh. Supposedly. Okay, is it easy? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's scary. Yeah, well, don't do that. You don't have to. Okay, yeah. How about signs? Not there. Awesome, Moby. Isn't there a part though where one of the people who's playing an alien, like their their shoe, like is sticking out of the the alien outfit? Yeah, that's funny. To this day, I still keep a bunch of half empty water bottles around for that exact reason. Yep. Is like Predator on here? No. Yes. Ah. Alien. <laughs> that's nine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. A little soft though. Okay. Don't feel touchy today, huh? Easy. It's paranormal activity here. Not there. Mm. Is the hills have eyes here? Not there. <laughs> I liked that one. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I haven't seen it. That one in Wrong Turn, like real creepy hillbilly kind of mutants. That shit was cool. Is the witch here? Not there. Uh, I'm going to reprise a guess from the comedy video that we did and guess Scary Movie 3. <laughs> not there. They piss out of their fingers. I remember, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, yeah. Oh, show me the Unfriended series? Not there. Uh, I'm going to go with the, the Jim Carrey Hotel one. Is that called 23? Not there. Or room 13 or something. Ooh. Whatever it is. Yeah. That one. <laughs> yeah. Show me The Conjuring. That's three. Oh, oh yeah. The Conjuring. See what I did there? I, no. I thought you were whipping up in the kitchen. It was a bit of a celebration, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Hey. All right. Well, those are the 10 best horror movies of all time. Let us know what your favorites are down in the comments. And check us out on YouTube, Hive Mind. I'm bad like the Barbie. <laughs> you guys tell me the 10 best comedy movies of all time according to Ranker. Oh, yes, I would love to. Uh, the Mask. Not there. Jim Carrey's The Mask? Oh, <laughs> so scary. I felt like we were living in that movie for a few years there. <laughs> Caddyshack. That's four. Yeah. I know, it's going to skew old, I think. No, 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 no. Um, okay, skewing old. Let's go with like some Mel Brooks. Let's show me Blazing Saddles. That's number one. Oh, yeah. Everybody loves that one. What in the wide world of sports is going on here? And then a bunch of racist stuff. Uh, how about Airplane? That's three. Okay. We're on fire. Yeah, we sure are. Hello. There's got to be a National Lampoons on here. Maybe like Christmas Vacation. That's two. It is Christmas Vacation, too? That's two. Yeah. Chevy I mean, Chase. That's the one. That's yeah. the one that everybody talks about. Talk about racism. All right. Still thinking old classics. Let's go with Bridesmaids. Not there. Yeah. Oh, let's go even further back. Show me Super Bad. That's five. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Mel Brooks again? Genius. <laughs> <laughs> yep. How about Groundhog's Day? Not there. Okay. Maybe Basketball? Not there. <laughs> that movie. That's a classic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, show me one that's in my personal top five. How about Hot Rod? Not there. Really? Too niche. Are we sure? He double checked. Okay. Um, show me one that's more of a romance to me, but some people get a kick out of it. Shrek? That's eight. Yes. <laughs> Shrek's on there. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that is, I mean, fantastic movie. He's green, and that's what's funny. I think, yeah, that's the part that makes me laugh, at least. <laughs> Look at him, he's green. It's so funny. Oh, okay, yeah, we gotta have some Vince Owen action in here. I'm gonna go with Wedding Crashers. Not there. <sighs> um, Vince is in it. Show me Anchorman. Not there. Ooh. How about The Hangover? Not there. The Hangover Part 2? No. The Hangover 3? Honeymoon? No. <laughs> okay. Is it Deadpool? That's 10. Deadpool's the 10th, 10th funniest movie of all time. Yeah, I mean, that's just not true. Is that Ryan Reynolds? Yeah, Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. Nothing funny about him, besides his acting. And that he's married to Blake Lively, and Blake is a boy's name. That's not funny. Funny to me. <laughs> okay. I feel like there's got to be a Will Ferrell, and I feel like, I mean, Elf? Is Elf on here? No. <sighs> Nothing funny about Christmas. It's a pagan holiday. It's not a pagan. It's, like it's a Christian holiday. Look it up, buddy. Do your research. Is Coneheads on here? No. Oh. What about Scary Movie 3? Not there. That's the one where they pee out of their fingers, and I feel like they should kind of rethink the list. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Show me Spaceballs. That's nine. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it because it's funny. It is a funny movie, though. Come on. Have you ever seen it? Yes, I've seen it's it. It's pretty funny. I mean, it's, I guess. Show me Austin Powers. Not there. Oh, really? Ooh, show me the Titanic. Not there. <laughs> what? There's no room on the door. 
It's not. That's not a comedy, man. It's, it's funny because he's poor and he dies. It's <laughs> not. That's not. And she lives. She's talking to the submarine people like, oh, he really rocked my britches. <laughs> There's Leonardo DiCaprio. That stuff's hilarious. He dangles her off the boat too. In one scene. <laughs> he's not dangling her. He's <laughs> oh, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. It's like a romantic thing. He's from. He says he's king of the world or whatever. All right, Elf wasn't here. Show me Step Brothers. That's six. Yes. Help me, Step Bro. No, that's, that's not what John C. Riley says. No, Joe? no, it's in not. One scene. Uh, uh-uh. uh. Oh, I love that. It's stuff, a different, man. different <laughs> one that, that you watch. <laughs> How about Con Air? Not there. Really. How about Office Space? Not there. Too dry. Yeah, but some people say that's the best comedy ever made. That is good. Grant Ace Ventura here? No. I agree Jim Carrey's probably on here. Mm-hmm. Uh, show me the new season of The Price is Right? Not there. Wrong Carrey. Oh, Carrey, that's that's more of a horror movie, right? Is it a European gigolo? Not there. <clears throat> ah, fun with Dick and Jane. Not there. Ah, yeah. The movie was terrible. So yeah, it makes it sense that it wouldn't be on there. Oh, <laughs> show me Vanilla Sky. Not there. <laughs> What's real? It's classic. That's not funny. It's like a two-hour bit. <laughs> There's nothing funny about <laughs> Penelope Cruz. Come on. Uh, show me what some people call our show, Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> That's seven. That's really <laughs> seven. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This list is pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it has the old classics on there, but as far as new movies go, I'll take Step Brothers and Shrek and then the rest, whatever. Give me Dumb and Dumber 20 times over with Spaceballs playing at the same time. All right. Let us know what your favorite comedy movies of all time are and what else we should do. And we're Hive Mind. Look us up on YouTube. Check it out. You guys tell me the top 10 historical figures who would kill it on social media if they were alive today. Oh, wow. What a weird hypothetical. Got to rewire my brain a little bit. Go ahead with the first one. Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> Not there. They don't mean kill it. Like, oh. No, no. They just mean, like, kill it. Like, uh. do well. Oh! Yeah. Abraham Lincoln. Not there. He's tall and handsome. I thought when you were guessing that, for some reason, you thought Lee Harvey killed him? No, no, I know about John Wilkes Booth. Understood. <laughs> it's my bad. <laughs> um, let's keep it in that era. Thomas Thomas Edison. Not there. <laughs> Can't say why, but show me Harriet Tubman. Not there. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just. Uh, how about uh, Marilyn Monroe? That's number one. Oh, of course. And then we've got to go with her lover, JFK. Not there. No. Oh. Uh, show me Martin Luther King. That's two. Yes, I'm on fire. <laughs> so these people are just like well liked. That's uh, how social media works. Yeah, that's true. Part. Yeah, it is about likes. Ah, show me old Benjamin Franklin. That's four. <laughs> <laughs> what a freak. <laughs> um, show me Julius Caesar. Not there. Dude invented a salad. How about Napoleon Bonaparte? Not there. And there was a short King Summer. Remember that? Yeah. Show me his. Wasn't he messing around with Marie Antoinette? That's six. Uh, I mean, that's like bad. She's a bad girl. You know what I mean? <laughs> Social bad, media bad girls club. <laughs> City girls up. Yep, city girls are up. Hello. Speaking of bad girls, Susan B. Anthony. Not there. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> Calm down. Oh, let's keep it in the bad girls club. Cleopatra. That's three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dude, yeah. if she could take a selfie, though. Oh, yeah. Think of the gold. Uh, think of the caps. <laughs> Think of the pyramids. <laughs> Hello. Everybody needs a villain. Show me Hitler. Not there. <laughs> okay. I was bracing myself. He was an orator. I thought he was out of order. <laughs> uh, show me the big bad Russian witch, Rasputin. Not there. Oh, man, that guy. I mean, with all the esoteric BS I see online, yeah. he'd be killing. He'd be like, honey, scorpions and Pisces don't mesh anymore. It's Scorpios. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I ain't a witch. No one mess, mixes well with scorpions. I'm not a They're witch, venomous. man. Okay. Uh, show me the king of quotes, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Not there. Twitter? What? I mean, come on. Can you imagine his Twitter? It'd be so inspiring. I like the other, uh, the other quote guy. Yeah. Thomas Jefferson? Not there. Show me. Check out the riz on this guy, Genghis Khan. Not there. I mean, come on. He was out there. See, he was a city boy. Show me Elon Musk's daddy, Nikola Tesla. That's five. Yeah, dude was, dude was crazy. Oh, my gosh. Show me Jesus. 
Not that. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> not real. <laughs> oh, yeah, not a historical figure. Yeah, yeah, sorry. He was a witch, too. How about Malcolm X? That's seven. Yes. Wow. X-Man. <laughs> That's what they'd say. <laughs> it's like what his followers would say. Yeah. X-Man, let's go, light up. Or they'd say, inshallah, or something. Still kind of unsure if this guy's real. Show me Rumble Stiltskin. Not there. How about Stonewall Jackson? Not there. Show me Shoeless Joe Jackson. <laughs> Not there. Disgraced White Sox legend. Is he disgraced because he didn't wear shoes or is he racist? B he bet against his own team. Oh. That's why they call that team the Black Sox instead of the White Sox. Back then, black meant bad. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton. That's eight. He'd be rapping or something. Yeah, I guess. We've already got Lin Manuel. Oh. How about George Washington? Not there. Wouldn't teeth have an ass? Imagine his OnlyFans. Yeah. Oh, God. Imagine that. <laughs> the hottest boy on boy action I'll ever post here at my VIP price. <laughs> God save America. Watch me sign Benjamin Franklin's Declaration of Independence. <laughs> what about Al Capone? That's nine. What would he say, though? I don't know. I guess he'd just be like on some gangster. He'd be flexing. Yeah, yeah. He'd be like a bunch of watches. He'd do, like, you do a money spread. Yeah. He'd, oh my God, the Al Capone spread. He's like <laughs> still living in the top of that Chicago hotel. Instead of Drake doing like steak bets, it's just Capone. He's just hanging out with the Schaefer family. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hope people have a sick sense of humor. Show me Helen Keller. Not there. Oh, okay. How about Da Vinci? Not there. He'd kill it on like uh, Pinterest. Oh, uh, Picasso. Not there. I know he died like five years ago, but, <laughs> but still, he's I'm, a historical figure. I'm always surprised. They're like, here's a picture of Pablo Picasso driving a Chevy Cruze. <laughs> like, what? Where did he go? <laughs> Salvador Dali attends the Celtics game. I'm like, what? <laughs> here's Vincent Van Gogh in a Steelers jersey. And I'm like, <laughs> here's Monet posting a B reel. <laughs> what? How? Um, how about. <laughs> <laughs> Saddam Hussein. <laughs> Not there. He's like still under the covers. His hair's all messed up. He's like, sorry, I haven't been posting lately. I just haven't <laughs> felt like myself. And honestly, I get like this every summer. When I see people traveling in Europe and having so much fun, and I'm still working seven days a week, it's like no one even understands my struggle. I'll be back soon, girls. Slay. <laughs> <laughs> Show me Adam and Eve. Not there. Nah. I mean, that'd be killer. Yeah. Naked pics. <laughs> snake content. <laughs> Watch how far Adam gets this snake in his mouth. <laughs> Eve's on TikTok and she's like, she's like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. oh I might eat oh, oh, no, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> oh, there's no like philosophers here. Is like Marcus Aurelius here? No. <laughs> oh, what about Plato? Not there. That's a good one. Dwight D. Eisenhower? Not there. Ah. Uh, you had polio, right? That was FDR. Goliath. What? Not there. It's <laughs> not a person. David and Goliath. That was like a fictional giant, man. Might as well guess My Little Ponies. You love to talk about My Little Ponies. No, I it's don't. Like I literally lot. haven't brought them up in months, dude. Chill out. Joan of Arc on here? That's 10. Really? What social media does it say she would dominate? She burned for her beliefs, and you bet this nimble warrior would own TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Hate this. Hate it. I hate this list. I absolutely hate it. I was gonna guess Rube Goldberg because of all the machines. I mean, that would kill. That would rule TikTok. I mean, look at it, all those machines and mechanisms. All right. Well, let us know what historical figure you think would kill it on social media in the comments. And uh, yeah, hive mind on YouTube. Just check us out. Woo. Tell me the ten best moms in cartoons. <laughs> oh, cartoon moms. Timmy Turner's mom. Mrs. Turner is six. Okay. How about SpongeBob's dear mother? Not there. Aw. I don't even remember her. Oh, she's not in many episodes, but she's awesome. Show me Marge Simpson. That is number one. Uh, show me Lois. That's three. Um, how about uh, Mrs. Jetson? That's four. <sighs> that's their little cars. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Meet George Jetson. <laughs> Jane, his wife. Right? Yeah, that's pretty good. I was a camp counselor. That they did. <laughs> said, Mr. Graydon, I can't go to sleep. And I'd go. <laughs> and then they'd fall right asleep. Or were you a camp counselor in the 1960s? <laughs>
Why do the kids know the Jetsons? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the early 70s. It's still hit, though. Show me Mrs. Phil and Lil's mom from Rugrats. Not there. She was electric. Oh, she had like a sweatband on, yeah. like a big sweat, like a sweatshirt, much like this one. Mm hmm. Yeah, she was cool. I think Dee Dee Pickles is on this list, though. Tommy's mom. That's seven. Mm. Not as electric. I think it would have made sense in that show if the parents sounded like the parents from the Peanuts, like where you couldn't hear them. Mm -hmm. So it was just the kids' world. Yeah. Kind of took me out of it, honestly. I liked it. I liked Tommy's simp ass dad. <laughs> oh, Stu. Show me Stu Pickles. Not there. Ah, he was kind of mothering Low when you key. think about it. Um, show me Mrs. Flintstone. That's two. How about Jimmy Neutron's mom? Not there. What? She had that crazy haircut. Look at like a did. triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Dexter's laboratory? Not there. <laughs> the internet would disagree. Yeah. I mean, she's built. That's what I will say. Yeah. Talk to and her. I'm trying to be as respectful as I possibly can, because that's a cartoon. It's a drawing. But like, <laughs> whoa. Uh, is like the mom from Big Mouth on here? Not there. What about Rick's daughter, Rick and Morty? <laughs> not there. What do you mean Rick's, or not? Oh yeah, Rick's daughter is the mom of Morty. Correct. Yeah, Mrs. Smith. Not there. So that's not, okay. Uh, show me JPEG Mafia. I'm oh, sorry, show me Peggy, Peggy Hill. That is nine. <laughs> All right. What a great show. Voiced by Sammy's mom, Peggy Hill. I know. Oh, sorry. Talk to them. Sorry. I'm Sammy, a great uh, indie singer-songwriter, fantastically talented, and her mother was the voice of Peggy Hill in King of the Hill. Fun fact. Just trying to give you some fun facts while you stew on your answer. You ready? Okay. My mom did the voice for this one. Linda Burgers from Bob's Burgers. Linda Belcher there you go. is 10. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was, it's Bob's Burgers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Bob Belcher. Not a classic Italian name, which I always thought was interesting. They're super Italian, right? Are they? Isn't that the, am I, whoa, am I, uh-oh. <laughs> also, Robert, I know plenty of Italian guys named Robert. I, I meant the last name, Belcher. Robert De Niro. Yeah, Robert De Rosa. I never said that. I never said that it was. I, oh. I, I was saying the last name, Belcher. Oh. It's the great melting pot, this nation. That's true. Uh, is there a mom in Archer? Not there. Ah. Uh, is Cartman's mom here? Yeah, Leanne Cartman, that's five. Oh, from South Park. She is such a good character. Yeah, she is. A real woman about town. Come on, do your Cartman voice. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> man, shut the fuck up. That's good, man. Thank you. It's enough, though. I am enough. I've been practicing that in the mirror. I go, I am enough. I've had enough. Is there a mom in BoJack Horseman? Maybe a mom horse. <laughs> and not there. Is there a mom in Hell's Kitchen? Not <laughs> Not animated. It just isn't animated. Sometimes it is. No. <laughs> Show me Mrs. Zaboomapoo. <laughs> Not there. What about Arthur the Aardvark's mommy? Not there. Mommy Aardvark. Uh, what about Mrs. McGuire? Lizzie McGuire in the cartoon parts of that show. Not there. Kind of dips in and out. Sometimes it's animated <laughs> for a second. Roger Rabbit's mom here? No. How about it's told by Ginger? The Ginger's mom? <laughs> Not there. That's such a, oh man, Macy Gray did the theme song for that. Really? And it is so good. It's like, the grass is always greener on the other side. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I don't know if that's the melody, yeah. but it definitely said that. And Macy Gray has a beautiful, raspy voice. What about Hey Arnold's mom? Not there. Because mom has passed away. Great. I'm still working through it. <laughs> I'm still, I just started the show. Well, at the beginning of the show, it's already like he lives with his grandpa, right? I didn't know that meant she was dead. <laughs> Pretty sure they, they, his mom and dad got lost in the jungle. Jeez, man. Early 2000s, Harlem was the jungle. True. The concrete jungle. Show me Angelica Pickles from All Grown Up. Not there. I don't know if she has a kid. I haven't made it through the whole season yet. Yeah, I'm not sure. What's the last one, Grant? Helen Morgendorfer uh, from Daria. From Daria. Oh, okay. Would have never gotten there. Yeah, shout out to Daria Core though. All right, well, those are the 10 best cartoon moms according to Watch Mojo. <laughs> <laughs> and we're Hive Mind. Look us up on YouTube. Let us know who's mothering down below. <laughs> yeah, tell us who's mother. You guys tell me the 10 most famous fictional characters with the name Ben. Fictional Bens. What? Okay, do you want me to start off? I'll go with Ben 10. That's two. Show me Big Ben. <laughs> Not there. That's just a, that's a statue. That's a tower. 
Show me Benjamin Button. Not there. Benjamin Button's not there? That movie sucks, that's why. Well, I mean, still, it's famous. People always talk about having Benjamin Button syndrome. Benjamin Obi-Wan Kenobi? That is number one. That's his first name? It's Ben Kenobi, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. I literally always thought his full name was Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> yeah. No. I haven't really His family seen... names in the middle, his surnames at the end, and then Benjamin, his first name is biblical. Jesus existed in the Star Wars universe. So, no, I don't know. It's confusing. Mm -hmm. I, I have not really seen much Star Wars. I did play Battlefront 2 on the PlayStation, though. Gas pack. Such a good game. It's so cool when you could get in the big walker. Yeah. The AT ATs. What are the little, uh, the little Ewoks? Ewoks. Those, the little bears. They're, they're cute. Everyone's favorite. Okay. Doesn't Spider Man have an Uncle Ben? Ben Parker. That is three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Nice, man. I was thinking of Uncle Ben's rice. <laughs> and then I was like, probably not the rice guy, but the Uncle Ben and Spider-Man would be on there. This is beautiful how your mind works. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just guess. Okay. I'm going to go with a weird one here. Sure. Grant, was Bubba's name in Forrest Gump Ben? It was, and it's eight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, shrimp gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Saute shrimp. <laughs> What's his last name? Blue. Benjamin Bufford Bubba Blue. Oh, that is beautiful. So many Bs. How about renowned theater actor Ben Platt? Not there. His talent is unreal. That's why I tried to say he's <laughs> fictional. I see what you did yeah. there. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's also honestly pretty fictional how he's still playing high school characters, even though he's in his 30s, you know? Yeah. He's still getting those roles. It's like, come on. I'm still in high school, technically, so. Well, just because you didn't graduate doesn't I mean you're still in high school. You're not enrolled. <laughs> Let me on the team, coach. <laughs> Who wants a cigarette? By the way, if you like this sort of thing, we put out a full episode on our YouTube called The Name Game. We do real people's names, the most popular with a certain first name, and we even put in a few of these fictional ones, too. Check it out. Uh, when Nick Cage stole the Declaration of Independence, was his name Ben? <laughs> Benjamin Gates, that's nine. <laughs> ben Gates, Ben Gates, Ben Gates. You're pulling out like ridiculous movie knowledge right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who remembers stuff like that? <laughs> it's like the Da Vinci Code. Uh, show me Benny Safdie in Good Time. Not there. That's his real name, but it's also maybe his name. I don't know if it's the movie, actually. I don't know. But he's, he's in it and he directed it. <laughs> Robert Pattinson's like, shut up, Benny. <laughs> We're going to rob this bank. Then you're going to go to jail for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah. Spoiler. That's not how it goes. Whatever. Is Benny in the Jets here? Not there. Oh, Grant, show me Parks and Recreation's Ben Wyatt. That's four. Yes. <laughs> I remember that because I took a picture with Adam Scott at a premiere for one of his movies wearing Mitski merch. And Mitski commented on it and said, OMG, Ben Wyatt met my shirt. And then followed me on everything. And that's that's the story of why Mitski follows me on all social media to this day. <laughs> you know, there's a band episode of Parks and Rec where he has a threesome with Chris Pratt. I find that hard to believe, mostly because of who's saying it to me. <laughs> 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 like, I don't know if somebody else told me, maybe, but I... You... Hey, did you know there's a band episode of Parks and Rec where Ben Wyatt and Chris Pratt's character have sex together with someone else, and it's a threesome? <laughs> yeah. It's still the same person. It's just you said it different. Oh, I thought if I said it in a roundabout enough way, you'd believe it. No. <laughs> I'm going to kind of reprise the Benny and the Jets guess and go, Benny the Jet Rodriguez? That is 10. Yes, sir! <laughs> yes, sir! From the Sandlot. Yeah, Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Wow. Wow, you are pulling from insane... How is Benjamin Button not on this list? Because that movie sucks. Okay, but I'm just saying, like, National Treasure is a great movie. I'm just saying, who remembers Ben Gates before they remember <laughs> Benjamin Button? Benjamin Button is, like, a thing... If, you, if I said, dude, you're pulling a real Ben Gates right now, somebody would be like, what? I'd be like, how'd you know I stole that shit from you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Dude. If, if, you'd have to be like Nicolas Cage. That's what you would say. I don't know, man. I just find it hard to believe. That's all I'm going to say. Is Ben and Jerry's from the Ben and Jerry's? Is that, that a fictional character, technically? No, no. <laughs> it's not. Okay. Does the ice cream. It's a real guy. Is the cow from Barnyard Ben? That is six. That's crazy. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> 
No one's gonna believe that you did any of this. I don't care what they think, man. I'm just gonna keep doing me. <laughs> By the way, did you know that Adam Scott and Chris Pratt had a three-way fan <laughs> episode of Parks and Rec. I'm not doing, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. His oh. character's name is Andy, by the way. If you want to trick somebody else into saying it, it's Andy. You know Andy and Ben... Yeah, okay, I'll try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben Wyatt and Andy. And if you want, I mean, throw April Ludgate into the mix. You remember the shoeshine boy from Parks and Rec? Him and Amy Poehler's friend. <laughs> <laughs> friend, it's more like her intern, but whatever. Ben the cow. Uh, Show me Ben Wallace. Not there. From the Detroit Pistons? No. Just unreal on defense, that guy. Oh, um, is Ben Folds 5 here? Not there. She's a, real, a, real a breaking and drowning slowly off the coast and I'm heading nowhere. Show me Benjamin Lasky. Not there. Yeah, that's quite echo. I think that we have to give up. I would like to give up. Okay, Grant, what's left? Seven is Ben Riley, the Scarlet Spider. And five is Benjamin Jacob Grimm, who is the Thing in Fantastic Four. Oh, he's the Thing. I could have got that one. Yeah. Yeah. You just gave me 30 to 45 more minutes. I would. I think I could have got there. Right. right. <laughs> okay. And I should have gotten the other one. I mean, I've been Riley my whole life. Drew. <laughs> Those were uh, the top 10 most famous fictional characters with the name Ben. And we're Hive Mind. You guys tell me the top 10 most streamed best album winners at the Grammys. Oh, okay. So best overall album. Yes. Graydon, you first. Computing. Oh. Grant, show me late registration. Not there. Really? <laughs> kind of surprising, huh? Not really when you've got 1989 by Taylor Swift. That is three. <laughs> Boom. Synchronized high five. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm done with the robot stuff. <laughs> Back right. to little old me. I'm going to stay swift. Uh, show me fearless, Grant. Not there. <clears throat> I'm going to stay pop. Get away from Taylor. Show me 21 by Adele. That's four. Ooh. Oh, easy. Show me Riley's favorite, 24K Magic. That is seven. Yes. Put your pinky fingers to the moon. I told you he loves it. <laughs> what y'all trying to do? He is short, but he is awesome. I'm going to go with a sneaky random access memories by Daft Punk. Not there. That's 11. Oh, it just missed it. It did. Instant Crush with Julian Casablancas is on that album. And right. wow, what a song. I understand that song. Get lucky. More than you know. Well, yeah, you were a robot for the first part of the video, so you definitely have an understanding. <laughs> and I'm French. You're not French. I'm French. Um, should we 25 by Adele? That is five. Thank you, TikTok. Definitely not going to be the John Batiste and Stay Human album. Probably not. <laughs> that, one, that one won, but no. Very talented individual. Totally. Just not a not a streaming giant. No. <laughs> what won this year? Is it a Harry's House? That's two. Very big streams on Harry. <laughs> Look at the streams on Harry. <laughs> My house is a Harry house. My roommate's got a beard, and he doesn't clean up after himself. Yeah, neither do you. You just don't have a beard. <laughs> Check, um, check please. Show me folklore. That is six. All right, I'm just remembering when this specific artist swept the Grammys a couple years ago. How about Billie Eilish, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Doth, doth We Go? That is number one. Oh, okay. <clears throat> number one? Yeah, I mean, hey, good for Billie. That album is so good. Not for me. Um, show me Graceland by Paul Simon. Not there. Really? How about Abbey Road? Not there. I don't know if it won. I'm just guessing. Good guess. Thanks. Miseducation of Lauren Hill? Not there. Gonna, gonna do an MJ album. Let's do Bad. Not there. Supernatural by Santana? Not there. Off the Wall? Not there. Thriller? That's nine. I <laughs> got you. I guess the two ones that aren't Thriller. That's yeah. crazy to me. <laughs> ah, whatever. Oh, God. I don't even know if this is the name of an album. Hotel California. Eagles. Not there. <laughs> is Dark Side of the Moon on here? Not there. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Elton John. Not there. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Grant, can I get a hint? One of them's a movie soundtrack before it was a separate category. Was it Saturday Night Fever? That is 10. Saturday Night Fever? 
You can tell by the way I choose my walk, my warm is ready. No time to talk. You can't say You can't have it. Bring up it down. I'm trying to vote. So you can't say <laughs> You can't look the other way. It's the Bee Gees, bro. They invented hip hop. Barry Gibb. Look it up. Now, usually I try to stay out of this tabloid stuff, but I am going to have to address the rumors. That is a... Oh, <laughs> yeah, if we would back. Wow. The rumor is that everybody's got that old thing sitting in their vinyl basket. Stevie Nicks, that joke. And I'm sorry. If you guys like this stuff, check us out on YouTube. <laughs> I love you. You guys tell me which NFL team has the best odds to win the Super Bowl, according to MGM. Oh, football's upon us. I know. It's almost opening day. Let's go. I'm going to go with the Chiefs. That's number one. Nice. Yeah. Uh, gotta go with the Eagles. That's two. Yeah, just the teams who played in the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> We're smart. It's kind of interesting <laughs> how that works. They both got better, too. Okay, I'm going to go with the sneaky L.A. Chargers. Not there. Yeah. Not in the top ten. People are still talking about them, though. Big holes on defense. Buffalo Bills. That's three. Absolutely. All right, I'm still going to go with them, despite everybody's apprehension about Joe Burrow. Show me the Bengals. That's five. Okay. Nice, Riley. I hope. You know, I grew up a Browns fan, but I still, <laughs> Ohio. I, yeah. like, I like to see an Ohio team win. And a boy born in Ohio, playing for Ohio, repping Ohio, doing it for Ohio, <laughs> dying for Ohio, <laughs> killing for Ohio. Can't say that on here. Fighting for Ohio, <laughs> showing love for Ohio, raising money in Ohio, and doing football in Ohio. Swag like Ohio. Swag like Ohio. Show me the San Francisco 49ers. That's four. Now, show me the New York Giants. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> Ooh, no, 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 no. I think they've really crept up there, and I, I, I think they're in the top ten. Show me the Detroit Lions. That's nine. Yeah, a lot of hype, and that's not good historically for Detroit teams. Yeah. This is our year. <laughs> <laughs> First game. Show me the Seattle Seahawks. Not there. They're building something, though. I know, I know. Is Dallas in here? Yeah, it's six. So stupid. <laughs> Why would they be? Gotta have the Baltimore Ravens. That's eight. Yeah. You always got a chance when Lamar does his dance. That's what they say to these writers. Uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah, they finally gave him his bag. They're a great team. I'm not scared of them. Purple? <laughs> yeah. <okay. laughs> a little bird that talks. <laughs> They're named after a poet. You think I'm scared of poetry? <laughs> We're named after a football player. Whatever. Um, show me the New York Jets. J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. That is seven. I have worked my way straight down the line. <laughs> yeah. uh, Grant, show me the Orlando Magic. Not there. Oh. Um, how about the other team in Florida? Miami Dolphins? <laughs> that's ten. Yes. That's all of them. That's all of them. Oh, right? that's all of them. Right oh, down okay. the list. Oh, Packers. Uh, no, no, you're good. <laughs> no, you're good. Minnesota Vikings? No, no. Uh, okay. No, all right. No, no. All right. We're all right. Baltimore Orioles. <laughs> That'll change. The odds will change. Stay tuned for football season. And if you like this kind of stuff, we got a YouTube channel. Toronto Blue Jays. It's called Hive Mind. Shoot. Okay. Check us out. Hey, all right. Let us know your Super Bowl predictions down below. Let's go. What are the 10 biggest icks, according to Hive Mind fans? Icks. Red flags. You know all about those. I do. Go first, please. Bad relationship with your mother? Not there. Huh? I'm going to say chewing with mouth open. That's two. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a big one. Oh, how about cheating? Not there. Oh, that is an ick. That's more than an ick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quit sleeping with other people. <laughs> We're trying to be in a relationship. You know, I really liked him. <laughs> But then he started sleeping with other people as soon as we were committed. <laughs> and now I just don't know if I'm feeling it. How about it? He, he bent over to pick something up. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> How about like always looking at your phone when you're talking to someone? Not there. Show me drunk driving. Not there. <laughs> How about being pregnant with someone else's child? <laughs> Not there. Ooh, that one always turns me off. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. It's not mine again? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, how about illiterate? Not there. Ah, it's yeah. a good one. Ah, oh, classic. What about makes like a steam whistle sound during sex? Not there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, show me stinks. Smells bad. That's three. Ah, yeah. Nice. Okay. Never pays or offers to pay? Not there. Oh, good. 
I guess. I don't know. Bad? Oh, uh, show me pisses blood. <laughs> Not there. How about like walks in front of you? Not there. How about no drip? Can't dress? Not there. Really? How about dated Pete Davidson? Not there. Uh, uh. How about doesn't smoke cigarettes? Doesn't does not smoke cigarettes. <laughs> not there. Uh. How about smokes cigarettes? That's four. Uh. <laughs> kind of a backward society seems we're living in. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Seems odd. Could be kind of a square. Yeah. And that's no pun intended. I mean, I love squares, but yeah, it just seems like it could be like a nerd or a dork. And that's, it seems like an ick. Oh yeah, dork, dorky, nerdy. Not there. What? That's in now. Oh my gosh. Oh, how about toxic masculinity? Like being a bro. Not there. Okay, he hesitated though for a while. Works out too much. Not there. How about just toxic? Not there. Oh, bad breath. That's seven. Nice. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, how about horse feet? That's nine. Feet is nine. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, he's a horse feet. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> feet of a horse. <laughs> so having feet is an ick. Yeah. This generation, man. <laughs> Dry skin? Not there. Okay. I'm going to be the interrupts. Oh. Not there. Uh, oh. A BBL? I was guessing. Okay. <laughs> Not there. Oh, how about uh, calls yourself a plant mom? Not there. Uh, how about conservative? Not there. Good. How about pet snakes? No. Mm -hmm. Like they pet snakes or they have pet they snakes? They have pet snakes. Oh. So I tell you what, petting my snake is not a nick. I like that. Sings too loud in the car. Not there. Steelers fan? No. <laughs> nice. Messi. No. Ronaldo. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big stinky drunk. No. Oh. Um, doesn't drink? Not there. What? A hippie pothead? No. Oh, uh, dips. Not there. Vapes. That's eight. Yeah. Vaping is out big time, dude. Oh, come on. A candy cock to vape on? No one likes that. <laughs> the people who do it like it? They work. don't, though. It's not like a pot. They're not like, oh, when he hits his vape, I get it. No, I'm saying the people who vape like doing it. So Some let them do it. So you seem oddly defensive as someone who doesn't vape. It's about free speech for me. <laughs> oh, got it. It's cool. a free speech issue. Yeah, understood. It's the right to bear vapes. <laughs> Show me pro-life. Not there. Good. No. Well, not Wait, good. what? I don't know. I don't know what to believe. Just say you're pro, like, they need to know. Right? I am pro-choice. Yeah, I am pro-choice as well. But I don't know what should be on the, you know what I mean? I want to get the list right. Yeah, just don't say I don't know what to believe. Okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know, I know what to believe. There you go. I do. And it's the right stuff. Left stuff. Right. <laughs> right. My bad. <laughs> Only eats big cheeseburgers, giant greasy cheeseburgers all the time, every meal. Not there. Mm -hmm. Mean to waiters or waitresses. Not there. Is a man. That's five. Yes. Ah, I figured right. that would be on there. Oh, show me Discord mob. Not there. No friends. Not there. Too many friends. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like how we're covering ground here. Um, goes out every day of the week to party, drink, and dance. No. Uh, show me stand-up comedian. Not there. Crippling drug addict. No. Show me improv comedian. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> Prop comic. No. <laughs> show me YouTuber. Not there. Okay. How about being a woman? That's six. Mm. That's an ick to some people. <sighs> there we go. Men beat women once again. Oh, right. <laughs> I didn't mean like that. Right. Really, geez, yeah. man. Men. Higher on the list than women, once again. Uh, show me ugly. Not there. Is Dignan on this list? <laughs> That's one. No, oh my <laughs> god. The greatest person of all time. He's the biggest ick of all time. <laughs> <laughs> She's a historical figure who should host SNL. <laughs> show me records every single interaction they have throughout the day. Not there. It's a bad one, but this one's worse. Yeah. How about being a racist? That is 10. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, racism's a big red flag. Those are your guys' 10 biggest icks. Um, if you want to fill out these surveys, follow us on X, Instagram, or join our Patreon or Discord. Put your icks down in the comments. And we're Hive Mind on YouTube. Look us up. Bye. You guys tell me the 10 food mascots that would have the best podcast according to Hive Mind fans. Love it. <laughs> you start us off.
Sure. I'm going to go with Tony the Tiger. That's number one. Nice. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, it would probably be a fitness podcast, I would assume. Fine by me. Yeah. As long <laughs> as there's a visual aspect. Absolutely. I'm not listening to him. Oh, no. Actually, he does have a nice, deep voice. They're great. That's what he'd say about his guests. And his uh, sponsors. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, AG1. <laughs> they're great. <laughs> SeatGeek. <laughs> they're great. <laughs> AdamandEve.com. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Show me the Lucky Charms leprechaun. Not there. Baloney. He's so goofy. You don't want to listen to Irish accents for that long. Well, welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> How about Sonny the Cuckoo Bird? Not there. He's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? Mm-hmm. How about a three-headed Hydra, the Rice Krispie Gang? <laughs> not there. <laughs> They'd be good. No snap, no crackle, no pop? Nope, not uh, about. The Tricks Rabbit. Not there. Like a scamming podcast, maybe? <laughs> is Grimace on here? That's two. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Grimace is hot right now, but I think he's kind of a Bobby Yaltoff. Right. Situation, it might burn out quick. Yeah, it's looking bad. Yeah, it's looking bad. Uh -huh. I was thinking only cereal. Yeah. You kind of, you've opened my mind. You're welcome. Ronald McDonald. That's four. Nice one. Yeah. How about the Burger King? Not there. Ah. That's 11. He doesn't say much. He just kind of has that. Yeah, it's freaky. It is <laughs> horrifying. How about Jack in the Box? That's six. Nice. I mean, that's like a terrorist podcast. <laughs> far, far left. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> so far left, it's dangerous. Show me the Jolly Green Giant. Not there. <laughs> ah. How about the Little Tuna from the Star Kissed Can? Not there. I, like I don't it. know how they would write that. Um, what about Captain Crunch? That's ten. Oh. Horatio Magellan, he'd tell tales of the high seas and his uh, guests would get really bored. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a niche one. <sighs> He's like, and then when we rounded the Cape of Africa. I don't know how, <laughs> like that, but... how about the Hamburglar? Not there. Oh, how about the Quaker Oats guy? Not there. Oh, the Quakers were low-key kind of chill. Right. How about the uh, Taco Bell Chihuahua? <laughs> Not there. It's <laughs> a Take, good guess. Take you to Taco Bell. Yeah. yeah. What about the Chick-fil-A cows? Not there. <laughs> oh, a group podcast? Yeah, they're kind of anarchists, too. They're always, like, dropping in. Well, there are a lot of, like, it's propaganda. It's kind of like yeah. they're trying to spread misinformation about about chicken and saying we should eat more of it so right. that they don't get grilled up. Yeah, it's smart. I mean, it's a, yeah, it's smart, but it's misleading. Yeah, it is. Oh, how about uh, the Colonel, KFC? That's eight. Of course. Kind of like a Southern home decor podcast. I think it would lean a little bit more problematic than that. Well, the reason I like a covered porch is because I don't have to let them in. And you're like, whoa, Colonel! <laughs> where were they? Who were they? And he's like, it's a simpler kind of living. And you're like, I don't know, man. <laughs> what about the Jack Link Sasquatch? Not there. Oh, he's awesome. They always try and kick his ass, and then he just kind of, he destroys you. <laughs> How about the Coca-Cola polar bear? Not there. Hmm. Too sweet. Doesn't really say anything. Just kind of goes. And too niche. Like, that was like a minute that they had a polar bear <laughs> going on. Yeah. The only other thing they had is Santa Claus, which <laughs> they came up with. What about a, the redheaded superstar, Wendy? That's seven. Mmm. Wendy Thomas. Never really seen her personality, so I'd actually be interested in the podcast. Yeah. She's always just like. <laughs> I want to see what the freckles are about. Yeah. Explain, about explain your freckles. Whichever chocolate drink has the rabbit, is it Nesquik or Yoohoo? Not there. What about the monster from Monster Energy? <laughs> Not there. I don't even, do they have like a person? Like, <sighs> oh, he's like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, okay. How about the snack that smiles back goldfish? Not there. Is the, is the Kool-Aid man here? <laughs> That's five. Oh, oh. <laughs> very satanic. Yeah, super... Super cool, too. Well, yeah. I, I mean, I guess. I just don't like all that you have to do to get them there. One task. One task, and then, yeah, I know. I know the whole, I know the lore. <laughs> oh, show me uh, Chester the Cheetah. That is three. Yeah, Chester Cheeto. How about the the bee from Honey Nut Cheerios? Not there. I think I got this. Uh, the Cookie Crisp Wolf. Not there. It's because mm. he's a dog. The dog, Cookie Crisp dog. No. Ah, shoot. Count Chocula. No. Toucan Sam. That is nine. Yes! yes! <laughs> that was all would be banging podcasts. Oh, I would listen to every single one of them Absolutely. at once. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 if you guys like this stuff, fill out our next survey when it comes out. Hive Mind fans, which conspiracy theories they think are real? 
Can you guys tell me their top 10 answers? Ah, well, conspiracy theories. Okay, this is more your lane than mine. I'm going to let you go first. Uh, moose, uh, moose control the cell towers. Not the ah, hair. What? <laughs> what? That's a thing that people think? Yeah, because their antlers look like big uh, 5G antennas. Wow, okay. I am, yeah, see, again, this is your lane. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with the Bush did 9-11. That's three. Oh, good one. Good thing to say on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of a basic one. Yeah, a little basic, but. I'm going to go with a bit more of a niche one, but one I think a lot of people believe in. Hillary Clinton's a snail. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to reel it back, kind of go back to the basics, I think. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I've never heard that one. Oh, yeah, I mean, there's people that like, there's videos out there of a little slimy trail behind her. Uh, I'm gonna go with birds aren't real. That's seven. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's the robot thing. Yeah, but birds are drones or robots. Yeah, yeah, I like that one. I think some of them. What about aliens? That's number one. Yeah. What about them? <laughs> <laughs> JFK killed by the FBI. That's two. Nice one, Riley. Thanks. Way to, way to do it. Yeah, or the CIA or the FCC. <laughs> Ooh, or the FAA. <laughs> they shot him from very far away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, how about shrimp as bugs? Not <laughs> No? <laughs> Shrimps as bugs. <laughs> Shrimps as bugs. That's a conspiracy. A lot of people oh believe it. Oh my god. Show me the Aperon is a Chinese spying device. Not there. <laughs> cool. What? The Aperon is a Chinese spying device. Oh, the Aperon. I thought you were saying Aperon. <laughs> I was like, what's the Aperon? <laughs> no. How about Sasquatch? Not there. Really? That's more of a cryptid, I guess. But yeah. What about Sasquatch is in control of the government? <laughs> Not there. Mm. Show me Chupacabras rigged the NBA. <laughs> Not there. How about a little bit of this action? The Illuminati. That's four. Yes. Mm, mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of my thing. Oh, my bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> Show me Claro's an industry plant. Dad worked at Coca-Cola. Not there. Ooh. Okay. All right. Cool. Show me everyone in my fantasy football league conspires against me so I never win. Not there. Mm. Yeah. Still, I just can't seem to win. I draft all Browns. So you think I'd win? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Show me Russian collusion. Not there. Interesting. It's almost as if it's facts. What about like, uh, how do you say drinking the blood of children stuff? Adrenochrome. Yeah. What about adrenochrome? Not there. Mm. I know one that they're going to say. Hope you're hungry. Pizzagate. Not there. You just kind of said it. Like you could say it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I didn't Oop. say anything about it. I just said it. Staying in that golden era of conspiracies, show me the piss tape. Not there. Mm, I would have loved to seen it. Show me a lizard played saxophone on Arsenio Hall. Not there. <laughs> All right. Climate change is a lie. Not there. Good. Climate change is the truth. <laughs> Not there. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, just, I don't know which side. <laughs> COVID was a lie? Not there. Good. COVID was the truth. <laughs> <laughs> That's my real guess. <laughs> <laughs> Not there. <laughs> the pyramids were built by aliens? Not there. Avril Lavigne was replaced? No. Any replacements? No replacements. How about Flat Earth? That's 10. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bunch of flat earth things. That's cool. I haven't seen the curvature. Have you? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Whatever. Don't show me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about Pluto's a planet? Not there. Mm. How about Saddam Hussein had bad weapons? Not there. <laughs> oh, uh, deflate gate. That's eight. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that is a joke. Oh my god. That is awesome. That's, that's funny. Um, what about Malaysian flight? Not there. Mm. Ah. Ooh, uh, show me the submersible is actually filled with puppets. Not there. Ah. Is like Amelia Earhart on here disappearing? No. Okay. Oh, uh, Obama's birth certificate. Not there. <laughs> <laughs> is like area 51 on here yes that's nine okay oh okay what about it what's the conspiracy theory don't ask me dog i ain't getting roped in on this stuff okay do not ask me about it again i 
just want to know what's going on with the other 50 areas before that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what? No, I wasn't supposed to be like a punchline. I'm just like <laughs> confused about it. Like, what makes that area 51? 51. 5 plus 1 equals 6. Times 3. Repeating. The devil. Hello. Open your eyes, buddy. There's a <laughs> lot to see in between it. How about like the everything revolves around the earth? Not there. Oh. <laughs> what about like a multiverse theory? No. Bermuda Triangle? No. Oh, what about like we're in a simulation? Not there. Oh, I thought that one was for sure, man. Yeah. Oh, um, show me the, show me the, uh, no moon landing. That's we five. We didn't go to the moon. That's five. Okay. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. That's a classic. Because I think the problem is it's like, it's not that we didn't go to the moon. It's that we didn't go then. We've right. been since. Of course. And I want to know the names of those people instead of the actors they hired to yeah. say they went to the moon. How about evolution isn't real? Not there. Ooh, Ooh show me Nancy Pelosi is controlled by the spirit of Richard Nixon. <laughs> Not there. No. Oh, that's hmm. a good one. Um, show me the Chinese invented fish. <laughs> Not there. What? Really? <laughs> wow. The Chinese invented fish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the band or the food? Or the animal, sorry. They just skip over their whole lives straight to me. You know, that's, a, that's a bummer. The band. <laughs> oh, show me uh, Dignan stole the Declaration of Independence. That's six. Nice. Ah, wow. Wow, yeah. Spot on, I've heard that one. I have heard that one. But he doesn't have it. I've checked his apartment. Spot on. All right, so those are the 10 conspiracy theories that you guys believe. Let us know which ones you believe down in the comments. And if you want to vote in one of these surveys in the future, follow us on Twitter and Instagram or join our Patreon or our Discord. We're Hivemind on YouTube. Bye. Can you guys tell me the 10 funniest TV shows of all time according to Hivemind fans? Love it. Let's... Time to laugh. <laughs> Seinfeld. That's eight. Okay. Boom. Hive mind. That's four. Only four. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to withhold that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on, guys. That's all right. Fine, fine. I guess we're not as tenured as some of these other ones. Like, curb your enthusiasm. Not there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, always sunny. That's number one. Oh, good. That is. I think that's right. Yeah, I think so, too. Fine. The Office. That's three. I learned recently that our fans love Community. Is Community on here? That's two. Nice. Mm, shout yeah. them out. That's a great show. Yeah, shout, shout out. How about 30 Rock? Not there. <laughs> it's a very good show. I know. It just seemed like a weird guess. Let's see the big guess on you. Pull up your big <laughs> guest pants. I was going to say last Saturday was about 30 Rocks for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. I was wow. a Wake in the club, let me put it that way. Yeah. All right. Um, how about put it that way? <laughs> you just gave a little, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, when just you put it that way, I was uh, lightning. Uh, show me Deadliest Catch. Not there. Damn. <laughs> it's so funny to me that the deadliest job is catching crabs. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's a built-in bet. It was a deadly job for our friend Justin. He caught crabs and he passed. <laughs> they ate him alive from the inside out of his penis. <laughs> eh, show me Family Guy. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we beat family. Guys. We did. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, it's South Park? That's seven. Nice. Oh my god, he killed Kenny. Should we party down? Not there. Ooh. Uh -oh. How about Octo Mom? Not there. We'll round it up. Teen Mom? Not there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I think you should leave? That's ten. Mm. Nice. Good mm. for Tim Rob. T Rob, as I call him. Yeah, Clarkston, Michigan Zone. Yep. The pride of Clarkston. Shout out to Ray, though. Big shout out, Raymond. <laughs> oh, everybody loves Raymond. Not there. <laughs> everybody hates Chris? Not there. No. <laughs> everybody everywhere all the time? <laughs> the, uh, all the at movie <laughs> all at once? <laughs> no. What about SpongeBob? That's six. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Lost. Not there. Oh. There are some funny moments, specifically Sawyer and Hurley really have a good dynamic. Rick and Morty. Not there. Good. Thank you for whispering it. No problem. Oh, Parks and Recreation. Not there. That's 11. <sighs> oh, Jack Horseman? Not there. How about uh, Pen15? Not there. Friends isn't here, right? No. Was that a comedy? Nah, I think they tried. Yeah. I think they, they, were, they were trying for laughs. I think there were laughs. Yeah, obviously. How about Eastbound and Down? Not there. Let's stick with uh, the man himself, Danny McBride. Let's go Vice Principals. Not there. Wow. 
Why is that hilarious? How about the Wet Hot American Summer series that they put on TV? Not there. <sighs> oh, show me Pawn Stars? Not there. Let me bring in an expert, make sure it's on the list. <laughs> <laughs> show me Arrested Development? That is nine. Yeah. Okay. Bateman. Wow. Jason Bateman at his best. Yeah, low key. I hate him in everything else, so I would say that's his best. <laughs> I like him in most everything. Uh, I do not. Yeah, I like that guy. Those are the 10 funniest shows according to you guys. If you'd like to vote in one of these, follow us on Instagram or the X app and <laughs> join our <laughs> Patreon or our Discord. Uh, yeah, we're Hive Mind on YouTube. Bye. You guys tell me the 10 most unattractive names according to Hive Mind fans. Oh, this is first names? Yes. Tanner. Not there. Riley. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> guess me, guess me. Fine. Seth. Not there. Oh. Graydon. Not there. <laughs> <laughs> Booyah, Kasha. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> show me Shane. <laughs> Not there. Uh, show me Grant. Not there. Hey, hey, we are clean as a whistle, G-Baby. <laughs> Show me Michael. Not there. Hayden. Not there. Show me Brad. Not there. Gunner. Not there. Chad. No. What? Paul. No. Dignan. That's three. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Is Trevor here? No. How about Chase? Not there. How about Chaz? No. What about Bartholomew? That's six. <laughs> what? Is Zazumba Zaffodil on here? No. Good. How about Bruce? Not there. Dan? No. Bryce? No. Owen? No. George? No. Bob? That's 10. Yes, okay. Okay, all right. Show me Barack? Not there. Hey, man, what the heck, man? Just kind of going, I'm just going with names that are off the beaten path. How about Larry? Not there. Good. How about Gary? Not there. Smithsonian? <laughs> Not there. Show me Tony. No. Is Karen on here? No. Oh, Donald. Not there. Hillary. No. Carl. No. Howard. No. Jimmy. No. Jim. No. John. No. What, dude? Is Mark on here? No. Gertrude. That's two. Yeah. That's like it's like moist. Of, like, the sure. names. Like, people just kind of decided for some yeah. reason, you know? How about Hector? Not there. <laughs> How about Archibald? Not there. How about Dexter? No. <laughs> Napoleon? No. Jordan? No. Christopher? No. I guess Matthew? No. How about Judas? No. Colin? Not there. Kyle? Not there. Tyreek? Not there. Vladimir? Not there. <laughs> Horatio? No. Ah, show me Big Bertha. That's seven. <laughs> Bertha, really? <laughs> yeah. We had a big tube that we would take out tubing yeah. on the lake in Michigan. Ooh. It was called Big Bertha. Nice. It was our neighbors. It yeah. wasn't ours, but like. How about Skull? Not there. <laughs> Skull, like. Oh, okay. How about Arthur? Not there. Keith Urban? That's five. Nice. As a full name or just Keith? Just Keith. Oh, yeah. Keith. Oh, I clarified that. Okay. How about Steve? Not there. How about Eminem? No. Uh, Marshall? No. Is Tom here? No. Show me Trent? <laughs> <laughs> Not there. Oh, my God. I don't know why. This, I've said so many names that that is the funniest word of all time <laughs> right now. How is that a name? Trent. <laughs> It's just a name. I know, but Trent. <laughs> I was number one. I shouldn't be left. <laughs> Grant, show me Gilbert. That's four. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> I kind of like that name. Uh, Gilbert Arenas. Gilly. Ooh, show me Alfred. Not there. What Armchair? No. Okay. <laughs> it's an old family name. Show me Oswald. No. Gerald? That's eight. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Gerald Ford. I'm just kind of thinking president. Yeah. <laughs> and Keith Urban. Uh, do we guess Ronald? Can I guess Ronald? Not there. You can. <laughs> what about Satan? No. Uh, how about Garth? Not there. Oh, how about Oliver? Not there. I love that name. I do. Okay.
How about Stephanie? Not there. What about Mosquito, little Mosquito boy? No. No. Uh, how about Dennis the Menace? Not there. What about a window pane? No. Window pane. <laughs> no, no. Just looking around the room for stuff to guess? Uh, yeah, kind of. Oh, uh, show me Grinch. Not there. Can we guess Greg? That's nine. Whoa. How about that? Greg. Up yours, Greg. Those were the ten least attractive names according to y'all. Comment your name in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to vote in these surveys in the future, follow us on Instagram or X, or join our Patreon or our Discord. We're Hive Mind on YouTube. Bye. You guys tell me the 10 best ways to self care according to Hive Mind fans. <laughs> oh, self care, so important. Mm. So important. Well, you're already doing it, so why don't you go ahead and guess that? Drinking. Oh. <laughs> Show me drinking. Not there. Really? I thought you were going to say something else. I thought you were going to say exfoliating. Oh, well, you said I was already doing it, so I just named the thing I'm already doing. Right. Exfoliating or moisturizing? Not there. What about a nice hot bath? That's six. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Soak in the tub till I get a UTI. <laughs> uh, similar vein, I'm going to guess masturbation. That is four. Uh, All right, cool. Shake it up, pal. Hey. Sometimes you got to explode to reload. Sometimes all I need for peace of mind is to touch that little peace of mind. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Similar vein, I'm going to go with sex. Not there. How about a good book? Not there. Oh. Kind of along the same lines. I'm going to go with smoke a few cigarettes. Not there. Oh. Uh, how about sweet treat? Get yourself something. Not there. Treat yourself? <laughs> That's not on there? <laughs> no. Wow. What about smoke a few doobies? That's seven. Yeah. Mm. Weed. A weed cigarette. How about drugs at large? <laughs> That's ten. <laughs> <laughs> Our fans. Yeah. That's nice, That's though. Yeah. You got it. You know, sometimes you got to just escape. A couple <laughs> days a week. Yeah. A couple nights you know, a week. Yeah. You just got to... <laughs> Alternate days, you know? Work. Drugs. Drug vacation. <laughs> Play some tunes, listen to music. That's three. Seems like a bit of a stretch for self-care. No one like puts on a record and is like, oh, this is my self-care day. <laughs> you don't have a record player. <laughs> Not anymore, my ex-wife has it. Video games. Not there, that's 11. Oh, what about a good movie? Not there. Binge watch hive mind videos. That's five. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That is actually, that's nice. And I'm going to get out of joking mode for a second and say we get a lot of nice messages from people who say that have gotten them through hard times. Yeah. You and know what's gotten me through hard times? What? Watching dirty videos. Not there. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, but I already said masturbation. Oh, yeah, but you don't have to do that. No, I know. I know. Sometimes yeah. I put it on the big screen, surround sound. Let's me drinking coffee at night, watching... Dirty videos. <laughs> Love it. It's yeah. a great visual image. Decaf. Uh, how about art, drawing, crafts? Not there. Ugh. Well, playing an instrument, playing music, making music. That's nine. Yeah. Mm. Making love to the old axe will really, really calm me down. They're not making love to the old axe, though. They're fucking Ableton. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, how about working out? That's eight. Obviously. Yeah. I partake. <laughs> yeah, me too. We both do. A lot. Yeah. He benches me and I squat him. <laughs> Do push-ups kind of on top of each other. Yep. Oh, what about screaming at your parents? <laughs> not there. Um, that always helps me. Oh, uh, kicking your dog? <laughs> not, not there. Oh, how about a little casino action? Go no. down and play the craps table. No, no, no. Maybe the slots. No, 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 no. Maybe blackjack table. No, no. A little back around. <laughs> well. No. All right. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, doom scrolling. No, 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 no. No. Uh, a sauna, a spa, slash massage. Not there. Oh, really? What about cuddling? Not there. Sn uh, snuggling? No. <laughs> oh, one of my favorites. Go for a walk. Not there. Really? I love a good walk. <laughs> that pa passion pit kind of... Take a walk. Take a walk. Oh, therapy. Not there. That's good. on the nose. That's good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show me sleeping. That's one. Mm. Oh, uh, what's the thing people do in the morning? Talking about brushing your teeth? Oh, yeah, brushing your teeth. Not there. Oh. Eating food. Not there. Eating food's not there. Interesting. <laughs> oh, drinking water. No. Drinking tea. No. Is it just like showering? <laughs> That's two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Bath and shower were separate in this one, and I wasn't sure about oh, yeah. that. Oh, yeah. You know? They got to be. It's a very different experience. Shower gives you thoughts, and bath gives you 
There's going to be bubbles. All right. Well, let us know how you self-care in the comments. And if you want to answer one of these surveys in the future, follow us on Instagram and X. And also <laughs> join our Discord or our Patreon. Uh, thank you. We're Hive Mind on YouTube. Bye. Can you guys tell me the 10 greatest people of all time according to Hive Mind fans? Oh, wow. Greatest people of all time. You go first. Myself. Great ends on there, right? Not there. Really? Was that a bad first guess? Does that make me look bad in the public eye? I hey, we'll leave it up to them. Okay. I'm going to go with Tom Hanks. Not there. I don't know. It just felt like down the middle, kind of like... America's sweetheart. America's <laughs> sweetheart. Their dad. Yeah. The first COVID survivor. Right. How about Barack Obama? Not there. Interesting. Oh, I'm going to go with uh, the other guy we have on our show, Dignan. That is the highest answer. Ah. Well, he's not really a good person, but right, I know they, they think highly of him, though. If we did worst person, he'd be number one, too, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. They, they just like voting for him. <laughs> <laughs> um, show me Riley. That's eight. Nice. Riley made the cut, buddy. I don't feel good about that. <laughs> oh, eight. It's good. I don't it's know. It's than me. Yeah, you weren't on there. Yeah. That's true. How about Steve-O? Not there. Oh, <laughs> he was about to say number four. <laughs> <laughs> show me Tom Brady. Not there. Is LeBron on here? That's nine. Yes! <laughs> I beat LeBron. Yeah, you did. You're better than LeBron. I'm better than LeBron. <laughs> yeah, that's good, man. That's so cool. Start a school, then. Yeah. If you're so much better than LeBron, start a school. Yeah, I don't... I, yeah, I can't. Okay. I don't have the means. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> no, he's so tall. Yeah, he was tall. <laughs> oh, Michael Sarah. Not there. Martin Luther King? That's six. Oh, Playboy Cardi. Not there. Uh, <laughs> what about Jesus Christ? That is five. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, in a similar vein, how about Ice Spice? Not there. Good guess, though. Good poll. Thanks. Let's go with Jesus' dad, God? No. Okay. Not a person. Well, I see him as a person. I see him in every person. Um, how about just, like, me? That is the second highest answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah. just people typing me. I'm the greatest person. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what about uh, Will Ferrell? Not there. Uh, seems so charming. You know who is going to be there, though? What the F? <coughs> One second. Adam Sandler. Not there. Huh? <laughs> you blew that one, buddy. Well, no, I didn't blow it. I just did a little a victory dance before I got a victory. What about Betty White? Not there. That was 11. Really? Yeah. That old SOB. Oh, how about you, DJ Grant? That's four. Let's go. Wow, okay. Oh, what about my good friend Hunter? Not there. They, if they knew him. Uh, yeah, I think they'd <laughs> like one conversation with him, and then it'd be, I mean, or the picture of him on a motorcycle. Uh, show me Pokimane. Not there. <laughs> I was kind of, kind of go that direction, too. Yeah. Show me Mr. Beast. <laughs> not, not there. Dude, we should keep going with content creators, though, right? Probably, yeah. Few, yeah. Probably. Okay. Show me Love Island star Tommy Fury. No. What about Dev Lemons? Not there. Oh, Trisha Paytas. That's three. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he got you. You <laughs> jumped out your socks, Phil. Wow. <laughs> not there. Well, okay. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I was going to be excited. What about Aaron Rodgers? <laughs> not there. <laughs> he just DM'd him. How about Kanye? Not there. Oh, good. Good. Okay. Right? Well, I mean, yeah, I just, uh, I our fan base, I was just a little worried. Is Zendaya on here? Not there. Zendaya. My, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ooh, show me Nick Chubb. Not there. Oh, the Chubster? Yeah. He don't say much either, but he's really, he's, he's worth every penny, I'll put it that way. Thinking football though, Riley. Yeah. My personal good friend and golf buddy, Dan Marino. That is seven. He's got a whistle stick of a right arm. We used to. The shoulder and, I mean, it looks like a bendy straw. <laughs> Luckily for golf, though, you lead with your left. That's true, yeah. And he was hanging out with Bun B recently. He was. He was eating trill burgers down there in Florida. Yeah. And we also had ourselves some trill burgers and hung out with Bun B last year at Rolling Loud Miami. And Dan Marino. And Dan Marino is from Miami. Jupiter, Florida now is where he resides. But. Yeah, he's not even from Miami, I don't think. He just, he played football there. He plays like he's from the Midwest. Is Denzel Washington on here? No. Mm. I'm going to go George Clooney. Not there. Robert Redford. No. Okay. How about the voice of God, Morgan Freeman? Not there. What about my mommy? That is three. Like your, like Lisa? No, like oh. the greater my mommy. Oh, just like, like somebody saying my mom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's what I would vote, I think. I would have voted your you. mom.
What the heck? <laughs> Paper beats rock. <laughs> Speaking of rock, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. No. Okay. Kevin James. Not there. Oh, David Spade. No. The Reese's Puff mascot. <laughs> Not there. Oh. They have a mascot? Yeah, I mean, discontinued. Yeah, he was like a Taekwondo kind of L.A. meditation guy. Oh, really? It was weird. Huh. It was weird, though. They used to put m little mantras on those little balls. Really? Yeah. I've never been close enough to read them. I am them. worth it. <laughs> and stuff like that. You fucking throw it behind you. Well, I didn't like that one, so I was on to the next. Oh, okay. It's like a fortune cookie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You gotta keep opening yeah. it up. Is uh, Pedro Pascal here? Not there. He should be. He is so, so charming. How about Keanu Reeves? That is 10. Really? Yes. Wow. He does seem pretty chill. People really like him because he like rides the subway and stuff. He's yeah. like he's like the J Cole of acting. He gives back to the like the the grips and stuff on set. Yeah, yeah. Those are the ten greatest people of all time according to our fans. If you want to vote in the next one, follow us on Instagram and Twitter where we post these surveys, or join our Discord or Patreon. That's yeah, we post the links there. So, shout out to the fans. Bye. You guys tell me the 10 best animated movies of all time, according to Ranker. Ooh, let's get animated. Yep. Show me Toy Story. That's four. Show me Toy Story 2. Not there. Show me The Lion King. That is number one. I'd like to see Toy Story 3. Not there. <laughs> I've never seen it. I'd love to see it. Oh, okay. I'm going to stay with Pixar, go Finding Nemo. That is six. Nice, Riley. Gosh, I love that movie so much. It's in the running to be my favorite Pixar movie. I'm still deciding, though. I'm going to watch all of them, and then I'm going to rank them. Oh, wake up. Holy smokes. Um, bah, bah, bah. What about Snow White? No, not there. <laughs> well, in that same vein, when the snow is white, show me Frozen. Not there. Okay. I want to build a snowman. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. <laughs> oh, wow. I lost it there. Sorry, <laughs> I was never going to be Elsa. I knew it. I want to see Soul. <laughs> Not there. How about The Incredibles? That is five. Above Finding Nemo, I will take that into consideration when making my list of Pixar movies. What about The Incredibles 2? Not there. Come on, man. <laughs> Some of these sequels are better. How about Into the Spider-Verse? That's eight. Okay. What about Childish Gambino's Lion King? Not there. Are you kidding me? It's not really like fully animated, is it? <laughs> That's how good the animation was, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> how about uh, Fantasia? No. Is that what it's called? I yeah. don't know. <laughs> 2001. What about uh, Fantastic Planet? Not there. Really? A 1970s art French film? <laughs> Despicable Me? Not there. Despicable You? What about Akira? No. Oh, how about Spirited Away? Not there. What about Ghost in the Shell? Not there. So there's no adult movies on the list. Depends on how you view it, you know? Mm. Sausage party. Yeah. Not there. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because they have sex. Well, it's funny because it's an awful movie. I remember liking it. I haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah. I saw it in theaters with my grandparents. It's the last movie they saw. <laughs> how about Tarzan? Not there. That should be on there. Yeah. That's fantastic. He's so sexy. Phil Collins or... Whoever plays Tarzan in that. Oh, it's animated, so I don't know. Nobody really play. I'm sure somebody voiced him, but Phil Collins does the music. Sure does. <laughs> Genesis. <laughs> Those songs are so good. Yeah. I want to know, can you show me? I want to know about these strangers like me. Speaking of singing, let's get down to business. Give me Mulan. Not there. What? That has to be on there. That's like quintessential Disney. Oh, you know what they always say is so good? What? How to Train Your Dragon. That is nine. Oh, yeah. People do say that one's really good. I haven't seen it, so I'm not going to judge. You saw it? And? Didn't work. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work? Like, yeah. what were you expecting it to do? It was train my dragon. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, Just yeah. say he's still breathing fire. <laughs> How about Beauty and the Beast? Not there. What about Hotel for Dogs? Nope. <laughs> is that even animated? Yes. I don't think it is. Whatever. It looked like it to me. I was on shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> They're decriminalized in our state. We can say that on TikTok. Okay. Well, in that case, show me Vanilla Sky. <laughs> <laughs> Could have sworn that thing was animated. I don't know. Something was moving. <laughs>
What about Lego Star Wars? <laughs> Not there. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> Uh, how about Little Mermaid? Not there. Second Pokemon movie? No. Okay. Cinderella? Not there. Beauty and the Beast? No. I, already, I already guessed that. Oh, you did? Yeah, Tales All This Time. It was like four guesses ago. The teacup? Yeah, be our guest. Be <laughs> our guest. Okay, I'll guess something new. All right. Give me something to guess. <laughs> Wait. You took my guess. You took my guess. Um, Grant, show me Fox and the Hound. Not there. Show me Aristocats. Not there. <laughs> what the heck? Ten million and one Dalmatians. No, it's just a hundred and one. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't, numbers. Once they get more than two digits, I kind of just guess. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well be ten million to me. So wait, I'm not a billionaire? No, not even uh, close. I don't even know if you're a hundredaire right now. You uh, asked me for thirty bucks for lunch. I saw a comma. Show me Inside Out. Not there. What about Ratatouille? <laughs> Not there. Not even pronounced like that, but that's okay. <laughs> Show me Shrek. That is seven. The number eight best comedy of all time is number seven on the animated movies list. Yeah. That makes no sense. Are you going to throw up? You look like you're going to pass out, maybe. Graham, what are we still looking for? Looking for two, three, and ten. Show me Stuart Little. Not there. Also not animated. He is animated, bro. Okay, but that doesn't count as an animated movie. Hugh Laurie's in that movie. If you take the animation out of it, it's a kid talking to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got me there. You can have a kid talking to nothing. Show me Winnie the Pooh. Not there. Is that, they even make that a movie? Yeah. Oh. Right? What about Jackass 3D? <laughs> not there. I'm giving up on you. Uh, Monsters, Inc. That is two. Yes. Yes, I'm going to also put that in my consideration when I'm going to make the ranking of the Pixar movies. How about Crocodile Dundee? Nope. Okay. Oh, Peter Pan. Not there. What? Jaws. No. Shark Tale. Nah. Happy Feet. Not there. Show me Aladdin. That is 10. Oh, is Eight Crazy Nights on here? Not there. That's a technical foul. <laughs> a technical foul. You show me Paddington? Not there. What about Paddington 2? No. Marcel the Shell? No. Shrek 2? No. Is up on here? That is three. Yeah. Spoiler yeah. alert, he dies. Wait, come <laughs> on. You don't got to do that. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Why are you doing that? There's so many kids watching. Death. Last thing I'll say is I'm going to take that into consideration when making my Pixar list. <laughs> okay? All right. Those were the top 10 animated movies of all time, according to Ranker. What are the top 10 animated movies of all time, according to you? And check us out on YouTube. Hive Mind. Bye. Can you guys tell me the 10 greatest people of all time, according to Hive Mind fans? Oh, we got this, Riley. You start. <laughs> that is not included. Uh, I'm a Gary Busey. That's 10. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> what the? What the heck, man? <laughs>